Hi guys, welcome to Talk To Me Tuesday. It's Tuesday, August 19th, 2014, and this is Jennifer. This is probably gonna be a fairly short one today. I had a super busy week last week and didn't do a huge amount of crafting. Um, I did get my fabric for my Princess Bride quilt. This lovely fabric will be my background fabric for my Princess Bride quilt, which is still on my design wall with all the holes in it, just like you saw it last week. Um, this came, I think, I don't know, Wednesday or Thursday, um, and I just have not had a chance to do anything with it. This is actually a Christmas fabric. Well, it's not Christmassy at all, but it came from a line of Christmas fabric, and it just happened to be perfect, and it just happened to be on huge sale. So um, this hopefully will be cut up today or tomorrow and at least added to the design wall. We'll see how it goes. It's back to school, so it's crazy right now. I also got a few goodies in the mail from Australia. There was a package marked for the Sherlock Holmes fan, so I'm going to assume that was for me. Kat sent a number of Australian goodies, but she also sent uh, a set of orphan blocks for my collection for the Linus Connection. So I got some lovely orphan blocks, as you can see here. There's a variety of different things, and I will put these in with my other orphan blocks. And as you guys know, I collect them up until I have enough to make a quilt top, and then I make a quilt top, and it gets quilted, and it goes to Linus. So thank you, Kat, very much for sharing that. I continue to receive blocks for Mikey's quilt. Um, I'm hopeful that I will um, have the last couple of blocks by next week. I do know that most of them have been shipped. So hopefully by next week, either it will be on the design wall or it will be finished, we'll see. Um, so with any luck, I will have my Princess Bride quilt pieced and Mikey's quilt will be either pieced or ready to piece by next Talk To Me Tuesday. I'm hyper disorganized today just because of all the busyness and craziness going on, but hopefully I will have those all ready and organized to show you guys next week. Linus was last Saturday, and I did get the two quilts that I finished that were, um, one was the Stars for Linus, and the other was the quilt top that Kat had sent me. Those did get turned in. Plus, I finished the white and purple one that I showed you guys la last week. That one got turned in. Um, and I'll insert a picture here so you can see what the final thing looked like. And other than that, I did a couple of things to help my daughter to get ready to go to college. She actually, uh, we moved her back into her dorm on Sunday. So the majority of my last week was kid related and I didn't get a whole lot of other stuff done. I did have one day where I had an hour where I was waiting to go pick up my son from a uh, summer band and I didn't really have anything else to do in that hour and I was kind of, well, that's not true. I always have something to do, but I didn't want to focus on something serious during that hour. So um, I had previously purchased a couple of clearance t-shirts, just regular t-shirts like this one. So this was just a clearance sale t-shirt, just a plain t-shirt, no pocket, no anything. And I got, um, I usually wear a medium in my top, and I picked up a couple of extra large t-shirts. And the shirt that I'm wearing now started out like this. What I did was I took one of my favorite tops and I used it as a model. I started right underneath here on where the neck is, and I just cut really shallow all the way up to this corner, just sort of at a really shallow arc. And then I took that and I gathered it. So I just marked like every, I think I marked every three inches and then I just folded it over like a quarter inch. And I pinned all that in place. Uh, I did it all the way around so it's on the back too. And then I sewed all the way around once just to keep it in place. And then I went back with a decorative stitch and sewed right in the middle of that so that it would give it a little extra. The first stitch I did was a stretch stitch to make sure that, you know, it could actually move a little bit when I put it on. Then I took um, the original shirt and I used it as a template and I cut the sleeves just sort of at a curve. And then I sewed around those. That was just a little see just a little stretch stitch right there just to give it uh, some decoration that's not hemmed or anything this is all raw edge and then I just took the sides and I trimmed it a little bit on the sides I cut the hem off of the bottom and I did the same thing as I did on the sleeve so that it's a raw edge with just a decorative stitch and I have a new top I know you can't see the whole thing but it is very um me and it is very comfortable and it's just a three dollar t-shirt that i got on clearance sale 
like that used to be just a regular old t-shirt. So I think I'm going to do the same thing to the green shirt, but I'm thinking about stenciling some vines or something on it first, or maybe doing a little painting or something. I don't know what and then doing uh, the gathering and everything so that it has a pattern, but the pattern will be sort of incorporated into the overall design. This took me about an hour. It took me longer to um, fold and pin all of these little tucks than it did to actually do anything else. That took the longest. So super, super easy. I did use, um, I did use a knit uh, ballpoint needle for my sewing machine so that it didn't poke holes in the uh, uh, knit fabric, but other than that, no specialty equipment, no anything, just scissors and a chalk, and that was pretty much it. Sadly, I have not finished or even started my Star Wars design for the Phantom and Stitches Summer of Stitching uh, event, which posts tomorrow. I'm really hoping that you guys have some Star Wars stuff to post. Um, I have something in mind. I'm going to try to get it at least started today. Um, if by some miracle I get it finished by tomorrow, I will go ahead and post it with the Summer of Stitching tomorrow. But I haven't even started and I have like 20 Star Wars things I'd like to do, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick the one that I think will be the simplest so that I can hopefully try to get it done by tomorrow. And that is going to be it for me. I'm still playing catch up from being out of town and from trying to, you know, do all the things I need to do before my kids go to school. And I am going to get this edited and online and try to catch up on all of the things. I will see you guys next week. Bye.